We are finally here. Game one of the World Series Angels Dodgers. You can't make it up. The best team in the AL. The best team in the NL. Going at it to win the biggest series of the year. And that's the World Series. Man, oh man. I Honestly, playing the Angels, this is going to be, I think, a good one. And the only reason why I say that is because the Angels were able to defeat us a few times in the regular season. Mike Trout and Max Muncy went at it for the Home Run Derby Championship. Mike Trout successfully beat Muncy. But now with the regular season behind us. <clears throat> and with the Home Run Derby behind us. We're here in the World Series Angels Dodgers, they're gonna settle it in the biggest series of the year here at Dodger Stadium and in at, and at Angel Stadium. Game one coming up right now with Clayton Kershaw taking the mound for game one against these Angels. It should be a good one, folks, because I know it. I'm pretty excited for it. Kershaw getting a second postseason start. And he's starting game one of the World Series. I wanted to go Walker Bueller, but I think Bueller will go tomorrow after Clayton Kershaw. Uh, Kershaw, man, this is his second postseason start. Like I said, he, he has a 3.00 ERA. Six runs given up in his first start. I don't know, excuse me, six innings he worked through. Seven strikeouts, but gave up three runs. Looking to have a pretty good outing here against these Angels as David Fletcher will lead it off. Hitting 286, two bombs, four ribbies. And the first pitch of the World Series will be a fastball from Clayton Kershaw. And it will be a strike going on on the inside corner. So you got the best two teams, like I said, from the AL and the NL fighting for the World Series. You got teams where you got situations where both teams can sleep in their own bed at night. They don't got to go to hotels because they're only an hour away from each other. This is pretty exciting. The one to hit fouled. The one two. Fastball, fifth pitch, popped up. You got the freeway series here in the World Series. So that's why these teams are able to just sleep in their own beds at night. As Kershaw will catch that one, one away. Here in the top half of the first. And now that will bring up Mike Trout. Hitting, hit, is hitting 395 in the postseason. Seven bombs, 11 RBIs. And in the first time in a long time for Mike Trout and the Angels, he's in the postseason, and he's making it count. Seven home runs, 11 RBIs, and is in his first ever World Series, 0-2 quickly to the Angels center fielder. The 0-2 fastball will strike him out. Looking good pitch to away here in the top of the first. First punch out for Clayton Kershaw. That was a great pitch from Clayton. Showing that he could locate that heater tonight. And now that will bring up Manny Machado hitting 342. This is the first time we've seen Machado in an Angels uniform as he's going to hit that one fouled. Uh, the Padres traded him away. And, I, and uh, we already played the Angels before they traded for him. The, our two series against the Angels. So now he's going to try and help the Angels here beat the Dodgers as he it's a 1-2-3 inning for Clayton Kershaw. Hey, good start for Clayton. It's time for this these boys on offense to get something going. All right, Dylan Cease is the starting pitcher for the Angels. He has lost... His two starts, a 4.15 ERA, 13 innings, 7 strikeouts, 5 walks. When the Angels acquired him, you know, he, he it looked like he was going to go off and have a really good season for the Angels. And then all of a sudden, he just kind of went into a slump. 
and it's followed him here in the postseason, obviously, because he like um, in the box scores on the bottom of the screen on the bottom of the screen when it would show the Angels games and when he pitched his first like seven starts, it looked incredible. I like he even threw a no hitter, and then all of a sudden you looked into the box score and it was like four innings with five runs given up. So tonight is the biggest game of Dylan Cease's life, and he has to just be in control and dominate these Dodger hitters if the Angels have a chance of winning this one. Mookie Betts hitting 200 in the postseason, one bomb and one RBI. So Mookie's been kind of quiet, two and two. Two, two. Hit in the left field, well, left center. For a leadoff single, as Trout will field it. And uh, good start for the Dodgers. They get the first three batters out. This Clayton and then a leadoff single for Mookie Betts to bring up Outman. He's hitting 289. And the nerves have to be going through the rookie at this point as that's hit. And David Fletcher don't make the play. Mookie Betts is headed to third. The throw in will not be on time. And Outman will be safe at second to bring up Freddie Freeman. And the Dodgers have something going on here in the bottom of the first. They do have Brandon Crawford. But with Clayton Kershaw starting, David Fletcher gets to play shortstop. And right there, I think Brandon Crawford makes that play. So, not the best thing right there for the Angels. As that's hit, that's hit, uh, that is hit down to third and a bad throw. God, I can't speak. I'm so excited. An E5 on Manny Machado. And the bases will be loaded for Max Muncy hitting 375 in the postseason as one home run. What happened in the NLCS to secure the win for the Dodgers. And as two RBIs, this is a huge moment for Muncy. First pitch swinging, fouling it off. 0-1-1. If you're Dylan Cease, you need him to hit one into the ground. Go home, go to first. Don't give up any runs as that's popped up. Mookie will come in to score, I think. I think that's Hunter run for out and right. He'll catch it. Both runners will tag from third to from second to third and from third to home. And it's a 1-0 Dodgers lead. As Mookie Betts scores on the sacrifice fly. And now that'll bring up Will Smith hitting 370. The Angels also have uh Chris Sale, who we'll probably see in the World Series. But Dylan Cease is their game one starter, which honestly with his first two starts in the postseason, I'm surprised they kind of went to him here in game one. Because this is the game where you set the tone. You set the tone of the series, I feel like. If you're the Dodgers, if you win this game, you set the tone by telling them like, hey, we're up a game. And then we're throwing the Cy Young and MVP at you tomorrow in Walker Bueller. So it's kind of a... What are you doing situation for the Angels? And why aren't you throwing Otani out there to face the Dodgers in game one? And, I mean, maybe Otani, you know, Otani against us in the regular season. As that ball kind of bounces and no runners, the runners will not advance. But Otani against us in the regular season, we had a game where we spanked him. And then we had a game where he spanked us. So, we just got to be aware when Otani's coming. And as that's a strikeout, good pitch from Dylan sees two away. Here in the bottom of the first, backwards strike, backwards K. And now that will bring up Nolan Arenado hitting 361, playing in his first ever World Series. First pitch hit up the middle, and Arenado's hot streak in the postseason continues to make it 2 0 Dodgers here in the bottom of the first. But as I was saying, man, like, we got to be aware of Tawny's coming out the pitch at some point in the series as a starter. Then you got Chris Sale. You got Dylan Cease who has struggled in the postseason and we've put up two runs against him early. For the Angels, you're facing Clayton Kershaw tonight who didn't have a good first postseason start. This is the start where you kind of need to beat up on the starter for the Dodgers. Because like I said, tomorrow Walker Buehler will be on the mound. He won the MVP, won the Cy Young. Then you maybe got to deal with the young arm talent Bobby Miller. Or the veteran Noah Syndergaard. Or Dustin May. Or Tony Gonsolin who was close to winning a Cy Young. The O2. From C's. High 1 and 2. Good take. And I feel like the Cubs starters did really good against this Dodgers lineup. And that's something the Angels need to do against us. The 1-2 from C's. 
fouls it off. You got to keep the Dodgers in this, your team in this game against these Dodgers if you're Dylan Cease. So one, two from Cease, two and two. The 2-2 two, two. fouls it off. Three and two. Two from C's hit Fletcher slowly gets to the baseball Freeman oh my god what is going on the bad base running right there Freddie Freeman and Arenado I don't know what happened right there with the base running I'll bring up Otani to lead off the top of the second, though. Two runs for the Dodgers in the bottom of the first. And you see those stats for Otani right now in the postseason. A 176 batting average, which is not good at all for the Angels. They need him to get going in the postseason. The 0 2 to the. to Otani. I was going to say to the Japanese phenom, phenom, but like I just had like a weird brain fart to, I mean, one away here in the top of the second. Now that I bring up Brenton, Brandon Drury, ball one. The 1-0. One -oh. Fastball one and one. The 1-1 one -one curve. One and two. One, two, fastball popped up into right. Betts, we're going under this one. Two away here in the top of the second. That is it. The second base. Luis. I'll bring up Luis from Hifo hitting 222. First pitch, hit in the left for a base knock. And the Angels will get their first hit early in this ball game as Taylor will throw it in. And now that will bring up Hunter Rumpro. Has a lot of power. He could tie this game up with one swing. First pitch curve, strike one. I don't think Renfro was expecting that. The 0-1 fastball. 0-2 to Hunter Renfro. Gold Glove winner this year for the Angels. The 0-2. Circle change got him then the top of the second. I got a little worried where that pitch was located. And it looked like Hunter Renfro had a shot to launch it. But thankfully he missed and Kirsch will work out of that double. All right, Miguel Vargas leading off the bottom of the second. Playing in his first ever World Series. Help this team get here. Through the regular season. Got hurt in the NLCS. Played, I think, two games in the NLCS. Or three games in the NLCS out of five. So, just missed two games. But, quickly 0-2. And, and just looking silly. Versus Dylan Cease at the moment. Hitting 273 in the postseason though. So, he's putting up decent numbers. With the bat, so I'm not too upset with these bad swings, but definitely would like them to be better. The one two from Cease. Got him. That is one thing about Dylan Cease and his arm angle. Like, I have a very tough time reading it. Because a lot of those fastballs, like where it comes out of his hand, it could be sliders just like that. 
like where he where the pitches come out of his hand, it's just very hard for me to like read the pitches and understand what he's throwing as he gets ahead of the, ahead of Willie Adamas with the no two count. The O two fouls it off. If you're Dylan Cease and the Angels, you need to have a quick hit inning here in the bottom of the second and get Kirsch back out on the mound as that's a punch out two away. Third punch out, and now that'll bring on Mookie Betts. So that's why I'm happy we had all, that little bit of those two. We added those two runs in the bottom of the first. Because I have a terrible time actually reading Dylan Cease's pitches with the way the ball's released from his arm. It's just kind of a funky arm angle a little bit for me as that's a base hit into right. But the fastballs, I feel like we're sitting on them pretty well tonight. And, and we're reading those pitches pretty well, but the, the off-speed pitches are the kind of the things that are going to bother me. I mean... Yeah, Outman got a hit off a fastball, so I think the fastball is what Dylan Cease doesn't want to throw to these Dodger hitters because we're seeing those well. So, that's nice that we could read the heaters pretty well. Depending on where the location is, too, because those high heaters look so tempting. The 2-0 to James Outman from Dylan Cease. 3-0. Freddie Freeman on deck. 3-0 to the rookie of the year. Throw over in. Betts will barely beat the throw back. Also, with Clayton Kershaw on the mound, we don't get to see Jared Walsh play first tonight. As that's a walk for James Allman on four pitches. And now that'll bring up Freddie. Reached on an air for Manny Machado. In his last at bat where he hit it down to third and Machado just had a bad throw to first. A lot of nerves for these players, especially Machado, first time World Series. This is his first ever World Series, so you can kind of feel the experience different between the Dodgers as that's a terrible swing from Freddie Freeman. Ten the second. I mean that swing from Freddie didn't didn't look like he has that. It doesn't look like he has an experience in the World Series after that, and his nerves are pretty high, but it's a bad swing. All right, here comes Yaw's Money Grandall. He has a few World Series appearances with the Dodgers, so he knows how this feels, but he's on the other side of it this time, facing the Dodgers as he flies out to center on the first pitch, one away here in the top of the third. And now that will bring up Taylor Ward hitting 171. A lot of these Angels have some low batting averages. And players, I feel like you need to have good ones. Like Otani, like Taylor Ward, to be honest. Their catcher, Yasmani Grandal, I could see the average not being there. But you want it to be there. That's hammered into center, but Outman will have room for this one. Two away here in the top of the third. All right, I'll bring up Dylan Fletcher. I mean, David Fletcher, excuse me, G. First pitch to him will be a strike, 0 and 1. There you go, one fastball. Hit into right, bets. He'll catch it to end the inning. bring a Muncy brought in a run in the first inning on a sacrifice sacrifice fly gee just just kind of getting the cobwebs off it's been a minute since we've commentated a game I think it's been like six days I think because yeah the one two to Muncie will be fouled. The one two. 
Hit down to first one away. I'll bring up Will. You got to be kind of happy right there for Dylan Cease and Taylor. I mean, no, Brandon Drury. Just because that ball could have hit the first base bag. It looked like it was going to. I think it was just a little bit to the left of the bag. The 1-0. One, -oh. one and one. Fiftieth pitch from C's coming up here. One and two. Good fastball inside to Will Smith. Dylan C's man, he's a great pitcher when he when he needs to be in. I feel like tonight he's he's definitely pitching, you know, not the best, but he's pitching well enough. At the moment, anything could happen though. One swing could get him out of a rhythm as Will fouls that changeup off, as that was pretty close. The 2 2, 3 and 2. And it almost hits him, but it doesn't. That's a walk, and now that'll bring up Arenado. First pitch to Arenado. He's one for one. Swings and misses 0 and 1. Had a single in his last at bat. Arenado in this postseason has had ice in his veins. He has been very good in situations where he has to bring in a run. The 1 1. That's hammered. That might bring in Will Smith. That might get over the wall, which it doesn't. But that will be an RBI double for Nolan Arenado to make it 3-0 Dodgers here in the bottom of the fifth. Ice in his veins in this postseason. I'm loving it, man. Arenado has really come to play in October. And, and it's it's been fun. <laughs> that will make it 3-0. And now that will bring up Chris Taylor, who's one for one. First pitch to Taylor will be fouled with the change up 0-1. So the Dodgers bring in another run. Arenado with another hit. And I think his second RBI is that's hit down to Drury. Two away here in the bottom of the third. And now that'll bring up the young rookie in Miguel Vargas. Struck out in the second. A back up there in the third getting another look pretty early at Dylan Cease. I feel like that's a good sign for Vargas. First pitch outside, ball one. One zero. -oh. One and one. Two and one. Two and two. Got him. Good pitch to end the third. Mike Trout, 0 for 1. First pitch, strike one. Down by three are the Angels. Clayton Kershaw has been good through three innings. Trying to keep it going and trying to make it through four innings here. The 0 2 circle change to Trout will be a swing and a miss. One away here in the top of the fourth, and now that'll bring on Manny Machado. 
All for one. Kershaw has been waiting for this start since his last one in the NLDS. Didn't pitch a game in the NLCS, so pretty sure he's happy to finally be back out on the mound to help his team try and win it all in 2023 in Game 1 of the World Series here tonight. 2-1 to Manny Machado. Peter, 2-2. Two two. Feels so weird to see Manny in an Angels uniform. But they acquired him. I feel like it was a beautiful trade from the Angels and just a very smart one. You get rid of a third baseman in Anthony Rendon who doesn't really play as well as Machado. And, and the Padres took it because the Padres were sellers. And, but I feel like if you're the Padres, you, you lose a little bit by trading Machado, but you don't lose too much. Like I feel like you definitely lose a healthy player who will show up to play. <laughs> If uh, you guys know about like Rendome, this season just kind of being a pain for the Angels, but and that's why they could have traded for him, as that's popped up into right. Dodger Stadium will hold their breath, but Mookie has enough room to catch it to end the top half of the fourth. One hit for the Angels. Everything else, the Dodgers have just looked very good. All right, Willie Adamas will lead off the bottom of the fourth. There's pitch. Popped up into right. Hunter Renfro will get under this one. One away. Yeah, one away. Now that will bring a Mookie Betts. Two for two with two singles. He's had a pretty good night. Against Dylan Cease. 1-0. Starting his World Series off pretty well. With two hits, one and one. Good changeup, though. One one from Cease to Betts. One and two. Great slider. One two from Cease to Mookie Betts. We'll be outside. Two and two. Don't know too much about the Angels' bullpen. I don't know if they made a lot of moves during the trade deadline for that, but I know I know they got a good team. The payoff to Mookie Betts will be outside in a walk for Mookie. He's having a really good series so far. He's just reading Dylan Cease pretty well in game one. That will bring up at James Alman walking his last at-bat. First pitch swinging here, missing it 0-1-1. Good knuckle curve from Dylan Cease. The 0-1. Oh, one and one. Good take. Two and one. Reed Dentmers. Warming in the bullpen for the Angels, a lefty. Two one. Two and two. If you're Dylan Cease, you don't want Outman. Or Freddie Freeman to make a big swing happen in these next two at bats. So that's fouled. You don't want anything big to happen in this inning. You just want to keep it 3 0. The 2 2 throw over, and Betts will get back safely. They are really watching Mookie Betts tonight. I don't think they want America to have a taco from Taco Bell. The 2 2. Is that still a thing? Still a base? Still a taco? I think it is. The 3 2. Betts will be running. There he goes. The payoff will be hooked and fouled. I think if Alman sits on that a little bit longer, it's gone. I'm not too sure, but I think it is. The payoff. Betts will stay put in a ball. What a take from Altman. And if you're Yaz Money Grandall, you might just turn around and look at the ump. Because that, I would have wanted that to be a call for a strike. That was a great pitch from Dylan Cease. But the ump had other plans. 0-1. Man, that was close. I just don't know how you call that a ball. I mean, borderline pitch. It could go either way, but 
If you're Dylan Cease, you needed that pitch to go your way. And it didn't. The 1-1. One, 1-2, one. One good change up. Inside, getting Freddy to swing at it. The 1-2 pitch. Got him looking. Great fastball from Dylan Cease. Just kind of expecting an off speed. And he just went with the heater. And I bring a Muncie 0 for 1. I sacrificed Fly earlier and grounded out the first and his last at bat. And he's going to pop this up. And Machado will end this inning. And the Dodgers will only have three runs going into the top of the fifth for Clayton Kershaw. When I feel like we could have had more. Just, just didn't get the job done here in the fourth. Dylan Cease did his thing. All right, Drury will lead off the uh, top of the fifth. 0 for 1. Strike one from Clayton Kershaw. The 0 1 pitch to the Angels' first baseman. 0 and 2. That's the thing about the Angels, too. What I will say they have different players for different arm side pitchers. If it's a lefty, you're probably going to see Drury at first and David Fletcher at shortstop. If it's a righty in tomorrow, you're going to see Jared Walsh playing at first and then Brandon Crawford. I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do if you're the Angels, but it's got them to the World Series, and uh, they're here playing in it. So we'll see if we see Brandon Crawford and Jared Walsh tomorrow. But it's very likely, I'm pretty sure, that we are going to see them. 0-2 to Renhifo. The fastball from Kirsch. 1-2, and two, great take. Just barely outside. The 1-2 from Clayton Kirsch. All the circle change, hit, and fouled. Luis Renhifo, he's had some big swings against us this season. Hit a home run. I think here at Dodger Stadium, or, or no, I think it was at Angel Stadium, but he hit a home run against us. I do recall that happening. Two away here in the top of the fifth. All right, two away, and now that will bring up Hunter Renfro. This man has home run power, too. The Angels have a very scary lineup. Kershaw is just pitching really good tonight, and it's on top of his game. The yo one circle change, the 50th pitch. Will be swung and missed at. Swung and missed. 0 and 2. Swung and missed at. The 0 2 12 6 will be hit. Freeman will field it to end the top of the fifth. Five scoreless innings for Clayton Kershaw. We'll take it. All right, Will Smith will lead off the bottom of the fifth. They're going to keep Cease out there. 84 pitches through four innings. Dodgers have made him work. So far through four, as that's popped up into right. One away. Now batting. And well, that'll bring up Arenado. Two for two. And also has two of the RBIs tonight for the Dodgers. Ball one as Cease throws a little bit inside. And I don't think Arenado liked that one. The 1 0. Hit down to short. Fletcher fields it, throws the first on time, two away. I feel like that ball took a minute to get to David Fletcher, and Arenado almost beat that one out. So that'll bring up CT3, singled back in the first inning. First pitch from Cease. The Taylor will be hooked. Well, will be fouled off into the second level at Dodger Stadium. The 0-1. 1-1, good take. All right, the 1-1. Fouls it off. One and two. <clears throat> the one-two from Cease. 
the Taylor will be high. Great take from CP3. The 2 2 from Cease will be fouled. The 2 2 will be hit up the middle and another single for Chris Taylor tonight. And I think that should be it for Dylan Cease, right? Yeah, they're going to bring in Reed Meters. Has not given up a run in the postseason so far. But an interesting call when it's against Miguel Vargas, who dominated lefties this season. First pitch, swung on and missed, 0-1. Two punch outs tonight for Miguel Vargas. And it is first World Series hit. The 0-1. One and one, a good take. If Miguel gaps one, Taylor might score from first. The one one. And that's going to hit him. That is not what the Angels wanted, and neither did Vargas. Now that'll bring up Willie Adamas. Adamas is also playing in his first ever World Series. I think. Yeah, I don't think he played with them in 2020. With the Rays. Oh, one. Or possibly he did. I can't really remember. Oh, two. Hit in the center. That ball will not drop. Trout will track it down. Ten the fifth. Dodgers still lead 3 0. Grandall, Ward, and Fletcher do up. All right, that'll bring up Grandall, 0 for 1. Facing his former team and facing his former battery, Clayton Kershaw. They, the Yasmani Grandall caught a lot of games for Clayton Kershaw. That's hit to Vargas for a few games, one away here in the top half of the sixth. As that will now bring up Taylor Ward, 0 for 1. 53 pitches for Clayton Kershaw. He is just cruising through this ball game. I don't feel like it's pure domination from Kersh. I feel like those nights are a lot of punch outs when he's feeling it. But tonight, he, he's just cruising and making very good pitches, competitive pitches, and that's exactly what he needed to do in this game one of the World Series. So that's punch to right for a base hit. And he's kind of avoided the slider. I feel like there's been a lot of circle change, curve, fastball mixes. Slider's been kind of not used tonight. And I feel like that's been one of the biggest problems. Is when teams get to start, when teams start swinging and start getting hits off of Clayton Kershaw, it's from the slider. The 0 1 12 6. Hit Vargas. To Adamas, to Freeman, to end the top half of the sixth for Clayton Kershaw. And Fletcher is 0 for 3. Vargas and Adamas kind of celebrating that double play. That was huge right there to get out of that inning. <clears throat> All right, Mookie Betts will lead off the bottom of the sixth. Two for two with a walk. Reed Detmers is still out there. First pitch. Hammered in the left. That ball is driven. That ball is gone. It's a 4-0 ball game. Thanks to Mookie Betts who gets his second home run of the postseason. Just a circle change. Left over the middle of the plate. High in the zone. And just gave a perfect pitch right there to Mookie Betts. The head out to make it a 4-0 Deficit for the Angels. It's not a competitive pitch for Mookie Betts, and, and you just cannot be throwing pitches like that where it's so hittable to Mookie Betts. As that will bring up Outman one for one with two walks. Taking a ball here, 1 0. It's right there. More scared to throw to. Good old James Outman than anybody. They haven't really thrown 
like they've thrown a lot of pitches to him, but like they, they haven't been really competitive in the zone. They, they've been more outside the zone, and you can tell Alman really wants to get a hit, another one to help his team, and just you know, kind of getting uneasy in the box and swinging at a lot of pitches in this AB. Trying to lock back in as James Alman the two-two. Three and two. Three, two. We'll strike him out. Good pitch. One away here in the bottom half of the sixth. Now bring him Freddie Freeman. He's over for three tonight. Oh, my gosh. What a silly swing from Freddie Freeman. That was a nasty sweeping curve. Oh, and two. Freeman almost swung out of his shoes on that sweeping curve. The 0 2 pitch from Demers, 1 and 2. Freddie trying to do something here to get himself going. The 1 2. Fouls it off. One, two, will be high. Two, two, three, and two. The payoff. Got him. Two away. Bring up Muncie. Ball one. The 1-0. One, -oh. one and one. No, one one. One and two. One two from Demers. Fouls it off, does Max. Clayton getting ready to pitch the seventh. Feel like he's able to do it. The one two fouls it off again. The last game against the Cubs in the NLCS for the Dodgers. I honestly felt like I was chomping at the bit to pitch. I don't know, to swing in that game. Because how long it was, 19 innings. And we wanted that one swing. But right now with the lead, I am chomping at the bit to just pitch with Clayton Kershaw and take game one. Like, I want to be on the mound right now make get an out instead of on the offensive side and hitting. So I just got to relax a little bit at the dish and just know that I'll be able to pitch any second to make these outs with Clayton, the 0-1. 60 pitches, well, as that's fouled, 59 pitches through 6 innings, 61 so far in the whole outing, the 0-2, 1-2. 1-2, slider from Clayton Kershaw, will be hit and fouling. Mike Trout trying to stay alive here. One, two, heater away. We'll strike him out. One away here in the top of the seventh. Seventh punch out for Clayton Kershaw. Like I said, man, I feel like the slider when he gets hit around is kind of the weakness for Clayton Kershaw as he dots one right there in the zone. But I'll go back to it. But I feel like the fastball circle change curveball combo is very nice for Clayton. It's worked tonight. The 0-2 fastball to Machado will be fouled. I don't know how Manny got a piece of it, but he did. And also, you know, the slider is nice when it's working. As that's hammered, the circle change is gone. 
Manny Machado will get the Angels on the board to make it a 4-1 ball game. Eighth home run of the postseason. Jeez. Bro, Manny Machado. Those numbers are insane. Bro, Manny Machado and Mike Trout. Their home runs are absolutely nuts in the postseason. As now that will bring up Otani. And we're going to get Bruce Star Gratterall. And now Monte warming in the Dodgers bullpen quickly. Kind of quiets down the Dodgers crowd as that's a base hit in the left. With one away here in the top half of the seventh. <clears throat> We're at it rolling. Almonte, like I said, probably warming faster in that Dodgers bullpen. First pitch to Drury. That's hit and foul going on. This Angels team, I feel like they give me the vibe of we might be down in the game, but we got no quit. We are going to fight every out. The 1-1 one -one circle change. Hit and hooked fouled. 1-2. The 12-6. Hit double play ball. Adamas to Vargas to Freeman to end the top half of the seventh. And the Angels only score one. Thanks to the uh, to, thanks to the Manny Machado moonshot. Him and Betts both go deep tonight. In game one. Reed Detmers still out there for the Angels. Will Smith will lead off the bottom of the seventh. Dodgers with the three-run three run lead. Ball one to Will. Surprised not to see a pitching change for the Angels. But Reed Demer, Detmers has been pitching pretty good. One one. Two and one. Is there any activity in their bullpen? Yes, there is. So two arms warming in the bullpen for the Angels. So Detmers probably has a short leash as that's punched into right field for a base hit. And we might see him get pulled here. Who knows? But that all I know is that brings up Arenado. Two for three. Can he come through here again with another big hit for the Dodgers? And they're going to leave Reed Detmers out there. Lefty versus righty matchup. Arenado loves this. First pitch low. Ball one. Scott Barlow. And now Aaron Loop warming for the Angels. I think Aaron Loop wasn't warming at first. But the bullpen's going for the Angels. The 1-0 popped up. I feel like Arenado missed it. One away here in the bottom of the seventh. That's Trout. will catch it. And now that will bring up. Chris Taylor. Two for three. First pitch. There goes Will Smith. Swinging a miss. Throw down, not on time. Still a base, still a taco. Will Smith got you, America. How's <laughs> that? It will now be 0 1 to CT3. Trying to do a hit and run there, and Taylor just missed the baseball as he fouls that one off. 0 and 2. The 0 2 to Taylor. 1 and 2. Great take. Sweeping curve that Taylor was able to just watch. Impressive. The 1 2. That's a swing and a miss, though. Two away here in the bottom of the seventh. Third punch out for Dentmers. And now that will bring him Miguel Vargas. Got hit by a pitch. And his last at bat against Dentmers. What can he do here as he swings and misses 0 and 1? The 0 1 pitch. Runner at second. Two away. Here in this inning. And quickly 0 and 2. The 0 2. There goes Will again. Pitches inside. Throw from Grandall. Not on time. And now a single brings him in. If you're Vargas, you, you just got to hit it up the middle, buddy. You don't got to try and do anything too big. The 1-2. Got him, though. 
to end the seven. That sweeping curve is absolutely filthy. All right, well, now we're going to go to our bullpen. I'm bringing Almonte instead of Gratterall. I just feel like it's a good call here for Almonte to pitch here in the eighth over Brewstar because I feel like a lot of teams have been seeing Brewstar pitch, and I just feel like it would be perfect for Almonte to go here as uh, Luis Renjifo will switch sides and hit as a lefty now. As he fouls off the first pitch, he sees 0-1. From Almonte. Almonte yet to give up any runs in the postseason. 0 2 circle change. Fouls it off. 0 2 sinker. Got him. One away here in the top of the eighth. And now they'll bring up Hunter Renfro. 0 for 2. First pitch slider, ball one. Kind of like the matchup right here for Almonte against Renfro as well. The slider away might be pretty good as that's hit into left. Taylor will catch it to away. Two up, two down. Now they'll bring up Grandall. 0 for 2. First pitch sinker, strike one. The 0 1 heater. It, Freeman will field it. Run it to the bag himself in a 1-2-3 inning for Yancey Almonte here in game one in the eighth. Take it. Good inning. Right, then I'm bringing Scott Barlow who has a 13.50 ERA in the postseason. That's kind of not the numbers. You, you, those are the numbers you don't want to see. And Evan Phillips is going to start warming. They sat down Brewstar. And they're just going to let Evan Phillips pitch in that bullpen. Kind of get into the right mindset. But he has to come out in the top of the ninth and pitch a scoreless inning. Well, he doesn't have to score the... He doesn't have to pitch a scoreless inning, but... First pitch, hit, and Fletcher, nice stop, throw to first on time. That's the first time they've retired Mookie Betts tonight. So now that will bring up James Outman, one for two. First pitch, 0-1. Oh hit into left center. That ball might split the gap. I don't think Trout's getting to that one as he won't. And that will be a double for James Altman to bring up Freddie Freeman to try and extend this lead to four again instead of three. I know it will take the save situation, the save situation away from Evan Phillips, but I prefer to have a four-run lead. Because if that is the case, we're going to warm up Phil Bickford. And Evan Phillips still locked in, warming up as Bickford will step aside next to him. The 1 0. And that's popped up. Machado will get there. What a route for Manny. That was a long run, and Evan Phillips is ready to come out. Taylor Ward will be the first batter he faces. So far, two and one-thirds innings in this postseason for Phillips in three games. Three for three with the saves. Two strikeouts, no walks, and no hits given up for Evan Phillips in this postseason. Taylor Ward will be the first batter he faces. One for two. First pitch high, ball one. Ward hits lefties better than righties. Is that to strike one and one? The one-one cutter. One and two. One, two, fastball, two and two, great take. Two, two, the fifth pitch. Will be popped up into left center. Taylor was kind of playing in. Taylor is hustling. He'll get there one away. Felt like the, inf the outfield was playing a lot deeper. Like, I mean, they were playing in more 
on that in that A B. So I don't know what kind of defense the offense was I mean the defense was doing, but not too impressed with it. But Wilkie will get that one easily two away. I, I just felt like Taylor had to really run. That will bring on Mike Trout. Two away here in the top of the ninth. Angels down to their final out here in game one. And it's Mike Trout. He's 0 for 3. The biggest stage of his life at the moment. The 0-1. 0-2 oh to Trout. Trout. Dodgers are one out away. And one strike away from taking game one. The 0-2 popped up. Adamus will get there. And the Dodgers will take game one of the World Series here tonight in L.A. And uh, tomorrow night, we know who's on the mound. I already said it. I've already repeated it. It's Walker Buehler. There's no if, what's, or buts. But Walker Buehler will be on that mound. Pitching his heart out just like Clayton tonight. Clayton, seven innings, four hits, one run, giving up seven punch outs. Mookie Betts, three for four, three, I don't know, two singles in that solo shot. Dodgers win this one, four, one, ten hits. Angels, four hits, one run, and one error on Manny Machado. And the Dodgers will take the lead here in game one of the World Series. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. See you guys tomorrow for game two.